hello everyone welcome to another video it's ishmael n and uh, you know like um i'm this video you know it's so so important to me because i realize this is a uh, one this could be one of the final videos at this time of course because i've been making many videos about marriage restorations and stuff you know so this that's why this video is a prophetic declaration I want to be praying. I want to be decreeing for the very last time at this time until God gives. Because I feel like now I don't have um, more words from the Lord where I can share about the restorations. People will just have to watch the other videos I've been making. But that doesn't mean I won't be touching on those topics. I will be touching, but I'm saying it specifically for restoration, uh, your spouse coming back your marital life being fixed you know because uh it's almost like i'll be talking about the very same thing that i've already said in the other video so i just realized you know what now i want to conclude this because also the previous video i made if you didn't watch please watch the previous video before this where i was speaking about the secret to attracting and keeping your spouse this is what i was revealing on what to do after your spouse come or when you get in a relationship which is you are aiming for it to end up in a marriage so i told you the things that sometimes makes people not to stay not necessarily because you could be cursed but also because maybe you might be missing some things some behaviors that you are doing that always turn people off so in that video if you want it in detail watch the previous video it's quite long but i think you might like it so in this now I want to pray for you that whoever you are crying, find, I know that some of you might realize, no, I've been a good person. I can't say my behavior is bad. What wrong? I was not needy or I was not so um, showing too much insecurity. I was so, you know, like um, so clingy to my person where I couldn't even give them space to breathe. That you realize I've been a good person, honestly. They just left me and it happens. That's why. I, and you realize you've been praying. That's why I want to encourage you. It's quite hot. I think I'll be oh, sweating a lot in this video, people. So you have to bear with me. So I want you. I want you to realize. I want you to pray. Also, I want to pray for you. In fact, that's what I'm trying to say. I want to be praying for you. I want to give you the scriptures to show you. I know you might have feeling like giving up that perhaps the Lord does not love you. Perhaps God, you know what? I, even some people like they were making me uh, like, you know, like it was kind of, I know it's not a funny thing, but it was kind of like uh, funny in a manner you when you are, think, think about this in a joking kind of manner, you can laugh it out. You know what? When you are frustrated uh, because of love, you feel like, Lord, why can't you just take away these feelings? Why am I still having feelings? and that's why even the bible makes it clear paul makes it clear that it is better to marry than to bend or to suffer with the passion of our uh, wanting to get married you know it's better you get married than to bend with paul he was comfortable so the only time i can advise somebody to settle with being single is only when you don't feel like getting married you know then it means you are content you are like paul your gift is to you have the gift to stay single and still have no problem about it so don't try to to fit in you know don't try to fit in you know let me open up the windows because i'm bending bed for a while and i will close them again don't try to wanna like uh just fit in you know don't try to just wanna fit in and then you wanna get married just because majority are getting married People around you, your family is asking you that you should also get married. You are so old. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to, 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 to get into. Hence, you must know and be able to tell the devil that it, it is your right to get married. Okay? That is why the, the, Paul said in the, uh, uh, first Samuel, I mean 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1 uh, and 2, that since you wrote a letter to me asking if one should not touch a woman you know at all Paul was like in verse 2 
due to so much sexual immorality, fornication, it is better for one to have his own wife and a wife to have her own husband. That is the reason for marriage. Because girl, it was like before because of the temptation of fornication, the temptation of sexual immorality. It is better to marry. That's why it is the will of the devil to keep you in condemnation when you are sleeping with people outside marriage. You know? Hence, that's why I say it is the will of God for you to get married so that you can have something that is blessed. You don't have to do things outside marriage and you be labeled a fornicator. You know, you will be labeled an adulterer. That's why you have to have your own wife, your own husband. That is why the moment someone sneaks out, they do, you are not even permitted to sleep with somebody else rather than your wife or your husband. So that is the will of God for you to get married. But the devil, he prevents you from getting married and he brings the sin of fornication before you. The temptation of fornication. So that you get tempted, you can't hold it and you sleep and outside you be like, yeah, you are a fornicator. You slept, you are sleeping outside marriage. But then now you want to do things right, the enemy blocks. So that at the end of the day, you stay in condemnation and have that mindset that you know what? The Lord is not pleased with me. I've been sleeping around. Obviously, I'm going to hell. Obviously, the Lord won't answer my prayers. That is the plans of the enemy. That is why you also have to fight hard because he will torment you. He will torture you like this. Do not settle with, okay, um, you know, I'm burning hard. You know, like I realize that I need somebody to hold me, to cuddle with and all. But, you know, like I'm not getting a new one. Okay, I'll stay single. While on the other hand, you know that once in a while you'll be sleeping outside marriage. It is better for you to fight until you get your marriage. Because in a marriage, you can sleep with your partner however you please. It can, you can never go to hell for that. It can never be labeled as a sin. But the devil is trying to get in your way. It is the will of God for one to get married. That's why even... Paul gave an example that love your wife as Christ, as Christ loves the church. That is the beauty of love and marriage. Women submit to your husband. In the New Testament, it was it goes as, as further as a man of but one wife, you know, to show that as of course in the old testament they would have many wives but it shows that god knew that you will need a partner he did not give you those feelings for nothing and you'll wonder why you have those feelings that is your answer today if you didn't know those feelings they show you that you have the potential to get a wife or a husband but now the only thing standing in your way is the enemy the devil he does not want to see you married but you want you to wander around that is why that's why i say this battle it never ends because even when one is uh is married the enemy will make one not to feel happy in a marriage and feel like oh no even think of cheating and as a result it's still labeled as an adult it's not so different from fornication fornication is the definition that I, I, I found previous is that fornication, people, both people who are not married when they sleep with each other outside marriage. Then adultery is when someone who is married sleeps with someone whom they are not married with. That is called labeled as an uh, labeled as adultery and the person labeled as an adulterer. Okay, so the enemy wants to keep you in that trap. Can't you see this? The tra trap of the devil. Before you get married, you feel like you only sleep with your spouse. Ask yourself, why are the married people still going outside? That shows there's, there's still another battle inside, which you have to discipline yourself. So at least with one person, you knows there is someone whom you, a person can relieve themselves with. You know, and God will still not look at it as a sin. Because remember, when the person is sleeping around, they are contaminating the, 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 the temple of God which is your body since you are a born again person and the body is the temple of the Holy Ghost so when sleeping around you are uniting with different souls and you are corrupting and the Holy Spirit now when you want to occupy you fill you up he finds 
there's too many souls you have slept with people who have different come from different generations different cases now it's so difficult because now you have become one flesh with many people you see so even if you ask for forgiveness and the lord forgives you tomorrow you sleep with someone else another that's why some people they need deliverance so you know like so it, it becomes so your body becomes too much complicated and the enemy wants that because he knows that if i can bring a united with this person i can be able to possibly curse her with a curse of this guy or a curse of that woman of curse of financial stagnation you know financial delays because you have now one flesh now that curse now it's one with you yes someone might say yeah but some they slept with people but they were never cursed they still prospered yes it's not i don't think this is my own thoughts of course i don't think it's always a guarantee that each and every time just like david when he slept with the shepherd that was adultery what you were what he did you see but god forgave him at the end but what i'm trying to say is say 10 knows that you're gonna keep on doing this and one time you'll end up with the wrong people i've seen sometimes people being prophesied that the time you slept with that prostitute your life started being like in shambles turned into what started be turning into shambles turned into shambles you know started being upside down but ask yourself does it mean that that person only slept with that person in that that prostitute in their life probably some other people just that ah maybe it never became a big deal Hence, I'm also consoling those who know that they've slept around that don't think yourself that ah, already it's, you are too late, you are cursed. No, that does not mean that and when you ask for forgiveness and the Holy Spirit to fill you, is able to deliver you. And when you pray, of course. So, but I'm trying to show you that one time you will sleep with a very wrong person where you cannot get out that you are bound to take, inherit that curse. So the enemy is aiming at that and in this video, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every curse against you. Every spirit of the enemy that is trying to keep you stagnant so that you don't get married, so that you end up being in, in a sinful life, being a sinful Christian. I break those cases in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cancel each and every spirit of the enemy that wants to cause you a fornicator and adulterer in the name of Jesus Christ. I restore your marriage. Wherever the enemy has put adultery, the, the spirit of adultery in your marriage, I decree and declare restoration. For the husband, for the wife that they have left you, the spouse that they have left you, I decree and declare that they are coming back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You, for any marital breakthrough, you want to get married, but you always get disappointed. They don't marry you. They change their, their minds at last minute. I pray that from this time onwards, you will get married. It will no more disappointment in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now in Jesus' mighty name. For those who are supposed to marry you and have left, I pray that they come back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare, for those who are supposed to marry you and you are not aware, the Lord has planned something special by the law, but by, by, by the devil blocked the plans of the Lord. I decree and declare, you shall be surprised they sh you shall find a surprise proposal, someone coming back to your life, someone proposing to you, someone coming to you, your spouse locating you, your soulmate locating you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray and I decree and declare unto your life by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I seal this prayer, reconciliation, restoration, marital breakthrough, no more obstacles, no more delays. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Be, be here to testify. Mark this video. Remember the time you watched it and you believed it. And remember to testify and also refer that this video, after watching this video, after some time, your life started changing. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Remember the principles that I gave you that also check your character and also your prayer life and balance those. If they are fixed, then you will see what will happen as time goes on. Hallelujah. Even to me after I fixed that, yes, it still took some months, but 
within the before the year ended i ended up seeing a huge change into my life into my marital progress when i would compare with the previous years up until today hallelujah praise the lord and also remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell okay if you want to more watch videos from this channel and like today's video if it blessed you and share with those whom you feel you will want them to watch and get blessed with this video and for prayer requests dream interpretations spiritual advices dm me and email me this the details are on the description of the video below and as for me ishmael and your priest i will see you in the next video upload stay blessed and take care